Plum. Hello everyone and welcome to Little Orange Plum. Today we are looking at a little subreddit called r slash creepy asterisks. So for those of you that don't know, this is um, a lot of private messages from guys that uh, involves an asterisk aka weird and un unwanted roleplay stuff. Let's start off. We have um, a one that's titled simply, nah, I get it. I get that sentiment. <clears throat> Allow me to start. Hey, you're cute. If you don't mind my saying, place his hoof on your thighs. I'd love to RP if you're okay. Licked's face. I don't know what an RP is, but I don't like this where, where this conversation is going. It means role play, and it's fun and exciting. The kind, um, the sexual kind of exciting. I would mind. Taking a hot trip to Equestria with you, cutie. How about no? Fine. You're an ugly bitch anyways. Gallops away. Um. Yep. Yeah, gotta love that, um. Pony roleplay. Friendship is magic, guys. Friendship is magic. <sighs> Let's take a look. This is not a big comment section, so we'll, we'll take a look, um, through this. What have we got? Gallops away, that's some commitment. Nah, more like me. <laughs> uh, yes, nay, indeed. But yeah, I do, um, I do love the fact that it is kind of a double whammy. It's like an, a creepy asterisk slash nice guy, because yeah, yeah, as one of the guys in the comment section was pointing out, yes, it is a, um, starts off, hey, you're cute, hey, you're not even pretty because you wouldn't return my affections for ponies. Okay. All right, you're such a nice pony. <clears throat> Next we have, what if I don't want to? <clears throat> so like, you wanna play? I'm in bed. I'm in a chair. On. Got him. I did a got him enough um, for you to get in. On. I'll think about it. Ominous ghost whispering in your ear. Play with Kevin. Kevin is great. He's also hilarious. Whoa, what was that? He seems pretty wise, though. Uh, nice try, Kevin. Points for effort. <laughs> Damn it, Kevin. Kevin! <laughs> yeah, I just love how the, the, uh, the comment section is just like, Oh my god, Kevin! <laughs> But yes, um, as I say, it's a little, it's creepy, but points for effort, Kevin. Good try. Uh, next we have a classic day in the shithole called Amino. I have never been, I do not know. Introduce me. <clears throat> Kisses too deeply and slowly, then plays with his tongue a bit. Grins, then chokes him a bit. Kisses him deeply with tongue, then pulls away slowly, then rubs my thumb on his lips. Better? Jesus, mother. What the fuck? No. I love how this is literally a group chat. Like, he did not send this to one person. It's not an unwanted sex to an individual. It's full on blooded out to an entire group. Like, was that meant to be sent somewhere else? Was was this intentional? Because, um, it seems like he, he, cause he's saying better as in this is like a repetition of something he already did, but I'm thinking he may have accidentally sexed the wrong group chat. Um, I, I, I feel like a little bit, I feel like we have to give this guy a grain of salt. Maybe he's not just some creep who's coming on a bit too strong with one per with people and just like throwing it out there, whipping it out, as it were, in public. I feel like from the context, this may have been an accident. Um, but yeah, no, most people in the comment section are just uh, bashing Amino, as I say, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm going to give this, ben this guy the benefit of the doubt and assume that maybe he um, accidentally posted that in the wrong place. Maybe that was meant for someone a bit more consenting. I don't know. <clears throat> These family porn freaks are getting out of hand. I think this is going to be our last one. Um, but yes, we have um, family porn. Always fun. Your son sits on the couch watching you, cleaning while he stares at you intently, a boner in his short, 
Um, clearly you have been turning him on, his eyes traveling your body while you were going about your house doing the cleaning. I love how the response is just, dude. Like, dude. <laughs> nah. It's, 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 yeah, I, I, I agree. Dude. Like, dude. Like, like, not wanting to keep shame on or anything, but like, dude. <laughs> and the comment section is kind of short, but we're going to go through it. The only thing that concerns me is he's saying young son, like, mm, I suppose as long as you're not actually related. It's a weird fetish, but, like, if it's just a roleplay game, then that's weird. But I guess not technically doing anything wrong. But, yeah, young son, the age factor does make it especially troubling. Um, I really want to know what goes into the minds of these people who come up with this shit. What um, fuck's, wrong, um, fuck's wrong with them? Yeah, it does. It's especially when it's... Because when this has happened to me personally... It's usually been a guy who's trying to imagine... Like, fortunately, I don't actually have any siblings, but they always want to picture me with a sister who looks a lot like me, slash is like me, except a lot younger, and it's like... I'm real glad I don't actually have a sister, because... Ew. Ew. And it's never... It's almost never their family. The only time it is their family is it's when it's them wanting me to be, like, some kind of weird mummy to them, and it's just, like, really creepy. But, like, um... Yeah, yeah, it does. It 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 does seem kind of. You you gotta wonder what goes through this person's head. Like, if I turned that around on them and was like, "Well, let's fantasize about your siblings and your parents and blah blah blah,", blah they'd get annoyed. It's kind of like when the guys whip their dick out, like send you an unsolicited dick pic. Um, I remember there was that really great meme about the the uh, trans girl, where some guy whips it out and it's like, "Here's my dick," and then she whips it out and it's like, "Here's mine," and he freaks out and is like, "Why would you send me an unsolicited dick pic?" And she's like, "Well, I thought I'd just return the favor." <laughs> and the second it's him that's on the receiving end, suddenly it's not okay. I feel like, as I say. Every once in a while, you get someone who's wanting to fetishize their own family, but normally they want to fetishize. It's someone who wants to fetishize the person they're targeting's family. They're, it's like a three-way with you and your sister kind of a thing, and it's like, mm, yeah, I feel like you kind of turned off your empathy because I, I feel like it's just like a basic thing you should understand why people are creeped out by this. Because it's not your family, it's just you're sexualizing, it's my family. And if I sexualized your family in that way, you would be bothered by it. But as I say, it's okay for me because I don't actually have real life siblings. It's, it's still creepy, but um, because they're trying to hypothetically give me fictional, fictional sisters to fantasize about. But at least I don't actually have a sister to, um, to have to picture. So that's, that helps. And to, uh, can I just say, if you're a girl or a guy in the comment section who's... Um, Post down below if you're someone who's had this um, message. If you actually have siblings, I will give you my commiserations in the comment section because, like, it would be so much worse if I actually had siblings. <laughs> uh, yeah, especially because I've had the one where they do it about my mom as well. Um, and they, in, in their minds, they were always picturing a MILF, some, like, 45-year-old woman who's, like, super, like, into Pilates and stuff, and then I have to point out, my mum's closer to 60 and um, doesn't look anything like what they're picturing in their heads. Like, I really took after my dad in the looks department, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's that, this is usually my uh, response when I get people trying to sexualize my mum is I just send them a picture of my mum. I'm sorry, mum. You're mostly better at being, like, a wife and a family person than you are at being a MILF which I kind of am very happy for. Thanks for that. But uh, yeah, that's um, that's all I've got to say on this subject for today. Um, somehow I ended up on how my mum is not a MILF. I am I may have gone slightly off topic here. But yeah, that was um, r slash creepy asterisks. Uh, if you don't follow it, uh, prepare to be creeped out. If you join that subreddit, um, they got some weird stuff on there. A lot of pony, friendship is magic crap. Also, some, some, I've seen some stuff being done to Pikachu, which is um, hurting my childhood. Could you, could you please leave Pikachu alone? I, I, yeah, leave him alone. Um, yeah, that's, that's r slash creepy asterisks. Um, asterisks. I got through the whole video without messing up that word. Why now? Um, but yeah, that's the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.